Fleur, ask the ladies to rate their looks on a scale of one to 10. Okay, we can do that. Go ahead, what about you? I think like a seven and a half, eight. Okay. I think I'm, I'm a 10 Wait, in the can Midwest. can we just have you scoot into the table so you're not like <laughs> leaning back? Depends on the city. In LA, yeah, the speaking. number goes down. Oh, yeah. uh, okay, in, uh, let's say you're in like a international hub somewhere. I don't oh, know. international hub? Yeah. I mean, okay, okay, um, like, like LA, for example. Um, I wouldn't, I don't, on a good day, a solid, like a strong eight. Okay. I would call myself a 10, but that's because I'm, no matter who it is, like no one's ever going to think I'm the prettiest girl or like there's not ever, there's always going to be somebody that thinks I'm ugly. Mm -hmm. So I'm just going to call myself a 10 and be happy with that. <laughs> I okay. like that. You know what I mean? Well, yeah. Not everybody sure. likes me. Not everybody has to. Okay. We'll let everybody answer. Go ahead. I'd give myself an eight. If I was down south or in the Midwest, I'd be Beyonce. But here in L.A., you feel me? It really just depends on what part of, well, we're in Santa Barbara, but I'm from L.A., I'm from the hood. So in the hood, I'm definitely a 10. You feel me? But when you go to Beverly Hills, stuff like that, you, you fat, you got a belly, little fupa, then, yeah, your number go way down. So Beverly Hills versus the hood, you know, let me know. <laughs> okay. More to love, baby. More to love. Um, I would rate myself like a 7 or an 8. Okay. I'd probably give myself a 6.5 or a 7. I think it depends on the city and state, too. Like, in Florida, maybe, like, a 7. But here in California, maybe, like, a 6.5. Yeah, I think I'm 6, 6.5. I think that's about accurate. You guys are kind of changing my mind. I think he has a low ball in, but... Yeah. I was going to say, like, a, like a oh, some real 7 or there. 8, but I'm going to go with an 8. I say 5. I think I'm an average chick. Girl. No, I don't. Pretty. No, no. What? That doesn't mean. I don't think there's anything wrong with average. Yeah, we're talking about looks alone. Looks yeah, alone. Yeah, just no, just no, I, mean, I, think, yeah. I mean, I think like there's nothing wrong with being average. I think if you take ten girls at the table, like half of us probably are average. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think so. no one wants to be like honest with themselves. Is, and just because be you're not saying like, you're a ten doesn't mean you're not confident either. Yeah, there's a difference fact, between fact. realistic and yeah. just not confident. I agree completely. Yeah, I just, I don't know why, like, we live in this society where average is seen as a bad yeah. thing. Like, most yeah, people are average. Most not everyone can be, like, yeah. if you think about it, if you're an eight, that means you're in the top 20% of beauty. You should have had top 20% of beauty results. So that means, um, I don't know, modeling contracts. I don't know, you know, um, eligible top 20%, 10% men in your DMs or, um, I don't you know. But not, not just, like... Like seri taking you seriously, but go ahead. There's also been beauty studies um, they've done where they've like had eight faces lined up of different like kinds of beauty, supermodel beauty with the chiseled features, mm -hmm. and like you know what people yes, actually find most yeah. beautiful is most familiar. So it's like more the girl next door look that was actually rated the most beautiful. Mm -hmm. Or even like somebody like I've noticed like the more that I've been around couples. Um, people tend to date people that re kind of resemble them or mm -hmm. someone that they that. love, like their mom or something. Yeah. I don't know why that is. Mm -hmm. Again, it's probably the familiarity mm -hmm. thing that she just mm -hmm. pointed out. But I've, I've, I've continued to notice more and more that since being in L.A. that a lot of people tend to date people that kind of look a little bit like them. Yeah. So it doesn't mean that necessarily like it's the beauty standard. It's just well, beauty, they see beauty, beauty in each. Beauty, such, you beauty, beauty I'd like to say that yeah. beauty is not subjective. It's objective. There's been mm -hmm. many studies. Like people tend to find the same things attractive. Like people might have like certain types where it totally. differs a little bit, but in general, like it's not subjective. It's yeah, and every also, man, woman, and it differs on what's popular type. at the time. Not oh, really. Oh, true. Yes. I think it depends Look at on the Kardashian. Kardashian too. Because yeah. I didn't want to get lip standards. fillers until like like three years ago when it became popular to have big lips. And as someone like... Yeah, and I was bullied I, yeah, for my big lips like growing up until it became like people were getting lip injections. Really? Well, yeah. I feel like that's why I call your, myself yo, a that, man. I'm not going to Hold on. base what I think of myself on what anybody else thinks of me. I look in the mirror every day and I like what I see. Yeah, but that's so delusional. So but, it's, like, but it's true. To, I like what I see in the mirror. So like, in just my because, mind... Okay, then I, I see okay, in my mind, in I'm my not mind, saying that you have to see in my mind, you in my mind, in my mind, I'm a millionaire. In my mind, I'm a millionaire and a PhD in my mind. And I feel like that, so therefore I am. That's what I just because you, you, you like, the country, just because you yeah. like what you see in the there, mirror, also that yeah, doesn't mean that you're a ten. A ten is saying you are absolutely perfect. So you're saying you don't have any acne. Your hair is perfect every single day. Like you're in the best shape of your life. You're saying you have absolutely nothing that you think you can improve on yourself. 
to I'm not saying that, but I'm saying that I would consider myself a 10. I don't know what other people would call me. I think maybe you're thinking you of know? different categories because objectively, the golden ratio is a measure, a measure of facial, <laughs> facial symmetry, and it is objective. You can look at someone's face and see how closely they match. And so I think when a lot of people say it, what they're talking about is this is how I measure up to this ideal standard of beauty. Though I do think yeah. you're right, over time, or whoever said that, over time, society does value different aspects of women's beauty as mm. time changes. Mm. Yeah, totally. yeah it's just, very I know sickly. for a fact that not the, everybody's going to find me beautiful. Some people will, yeah. some people women, won't. Women so make 70. Day, I'm going to go with what I like. And but women I like make, remember, like. women make 70 to 80% of consumer buying decisions. So all the media is marketed towards women. It's not for men. What mm. men, what men likes really has not changed. Natural, mm. more natural use. See, but I said earlier, like it really does depend on the country and it does depend on where you're living because it's a lot different in America than it is in Israel. Right. I lived in Israel mm. for over four mm. years. Mm. And the beauty Culture standards totally there are completely different, oh, yeah. different right. than yeah, here. Asian countries as well. When I, mean, I got back yeah. here, seen, yeah. when I got back here, mm -hmm. I went and I wanted a nose job right away. Mm -hmm. As soon as I got back, mm -hmm. I went and got Botox. I went and got lip filler. Mm -hmm. I didn't feel beautiful here by mm -hmm. beauty standards mm -hmm. at all. But when I lived in Israel, I was very confident mm -hmm. and I felt great because there. They don't care about those beauty standards. Right. They right. don't I care about them. It, <laughs> no, but, they, but they've, they've, done, they've, no, they've done studies on this, like with men all over the world. I mean, I, and, I lived there first. I mean, I've so lived, I okay, I've it. lived in Germany. I've lived all over the so, world too, so we could go back and forth okay. in the I lived game. But in general, men tend to find the same things attractive.